I'm really excited to get into this game as we load up onto Summoner's Rift for game number five of the group stages. Day one, two teams but like to fight constantly in a bloodbath. They're going to go toe to toe. I'm really excited to see how this one pans out. The desk, obviously favoring Mouse as the dark representatives have been pretty strong in the European Masters for quite a long time now, making it into second place. Healing as well that can come out from your kit. Oh, Demonic Ascension's actually been used here by Konyo. Chains go wide. Plasma looking to run away. Chrono Shift has been achieved. Able to pull it out in time to save his life as Mouse bring multiple members down. The Chrono Shift oh, no. is going to get popped and Plasma has to try and make his way out, but he is being CC'd for days. Pulled in and ripped down as Shadow finds the kill. Uses the Lamb's Respite to make sure the tower doesn't kill him. Well, the team fights out with their healing, with their sustain, with their shielding and the, the Paracol. Ooh, use the chains on some Knight. They actually can commit in for the full CC chain. Konyo pops the Demonic Ascension. Owner tank tanking away, gets the Chrono Shift on. He actually has the Demonic Ascension to steal away himself. Trying to heal up for the moment, but that's going to be the ulti from Jisting to keep them alive. Owner gets a massive heal off. The pop comes down by Konyo and the flash away. Shadow takes out Owner for the win. Lose their jungler. Yeah, fully stacked. I saw the play. Come on, Frozen, you can do it. Oh, Engage comes in. FM finds out one, gets himself stunned up, pulled in. Chrono Shift already used. Owner has to try and get his AD out. There's a flash available to AFM. Holds his nerf for the moment. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Frozen going for a duel. Has that perfect execution. Dodges out. Can he get the power play? Oh! oh token! What a flash! Like some time, but now he's the one doing the solo killing. It's hype. Oh. Oh, it looks like fights all over the board. That yeah. is going to be the end of Plasma. He's doing the solo dying, so... <laughs> Turns it into three members in the bot side. Whereas Owner, he leaves his bot lane alone and moves by himself. So it's going to be a 3v2 in favor of Mouse, and it's a similar situation here. Owner has that Lambs Respite to use. He's going to pop it in time to keep himself alive. Zeki trying to make his way in, but he jumps out before he gets the heal. And Mouse just find another one. They're looking for more, though. AFM uses the chains onto Konyo, but he has so much health. And this is this mid-game spike you were talking about on the Swain. Gets the Tether off. Actually, uses the Demonic Ascension Plasma. Has to Chrono Shift himself. Gifstick uses the ulti. Looks to tank up the tower for the moment as Plasma jumps away. A two-man bomb comes down, and AFM's jumping in. Another invulnerability ultimate is used. A Mouse get a kill onto the AD carry. A teleport coming in, oh. though, and it looks Ooh. like Frozen. Sure, can flips away to safety. He uses the chain. He's got targeted already. He's not going to put some damage out, but they're both half HP. In comes Ona, though, jumps in, has got his hijack, can steal away a crucial ulti if he wants to find it. The Tether lands by Konyo. In comes Frozen. The team fight is on. The Vanguard's edge has already been used for the win. Low health pass, and they're running away. Pop goes the Weasel as Konyo takes out one. Frozen goes yeah. away for Tolkien. He's into the fray. He gets the Death Finger stance and another kill. Looking to run through multiple members as Mouse squash for the win. They just crush them in that fight. They go for the engage. They aren't able to kill anyone because of Mouse's grouping. The four is so strong. And then the one turns up, but that one is talking on this Aatrox and he just runs circles around for the win, crushes them. And now Mouse are looking for this Baron. And they said, you had hope. And we did in the early game, but now Mouse are looking completely in control of this one. This is exactly what you would expect coming out from the dark region. The number one seed, Mouse. You know, I, I was hoping to see some spicy bot lane matchups, but Ooh. right now they're looking for Tolkien. He might be caught out. He has got his world ender to keep himself sustained up for the moment, and he's going 1v3. Teleport's coming in, and Knight looks to sustain uh, him! The ooh, mouse uh, trap has been clapped! And for the win! But Frozen's still not done. That's going to be one for Konya already. As for the win, trade one for one so far. But Tolkien wants to kill out Ona. Konya can't go pop in time, as Ona has his own ulti. And oh my lord, that was close. And the immobile Lady Carry is now less mobile. Yeah, and Mao's are looking good. They now have the Baron. This should be the last push. For the win, they, just, they need to go for it. They just need to go for a Miracle and Cage. And this might be it. That might be it indeed. Frozen uses the Shuriken Flip. Minions block it out. Owner steals away the Taracol. That's a big one, but AFM gets popped by Shadow. Now Mouse is speeding towards. Demonic Ascension's already been used. That's going to be the ulti used out by Owner. Cosmic Radiance to keep him alive as Frozen jumps out. Gets that Blast Cone to get his way away, but the Chrono Shift has been used onto Plasma. He is going to get picked up with the Demonic Ascension. <laughs> Gistic just clapped him over the head, and that was not the miracle engage we're looking for. Mouse looking confident, and for the win, I had faith in the early levels, but it just was not enough. This composition from Mouse shut down everything they plan to do, and 
Back to the drawing board for the Portuguese team. Mao is looking strong and looking to close out their first win in the E-Masters group stage. A solid early game by for the win, but Mouse, the number one seed from the dark region, come up massive. They're able to shut them down before that game snowballs out of control.